could you explain a little bit about what skill core is for our listeners who are not familiar? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're sort of, I feel like we have this theme of turning points, maybe because we're, we're right on the edge of one right now. Um, but skill core was a game changer for us. Um, our first skill core trips happened in 2012. Um, you know, up until then, I had really felt pretty strongly that we were never going to be one of those organizations that sends people out. Um, we were never going to engage in this kind of volunteerism where it's kind of more for the it's more for the person going than the people in the community. Um, and I had just been, I had heard kind of my final horror story about this kind of volunteerism where someone went in, did something they were completely not trained to do. Um, and I remember Pooja, our partner in Kenya, was actually at my apartment in Brooklyn. We were on our way to the ABAI conference. And it was late Tuesday night and we said, you know, we, this is really a problem. We don't have enough people to do the training. Um, you know, it's really hard to get people to just kind of take time off and travel with us. We don't have the funding to support it. Um, and then on the other hand, we said, well, what if there are enough people? And what if there is enough? You know, I think that that's something that over the course of this organizational history, I've sort of gone, well, what if there is enough? What if we have plenty? And then, it, and then you're able to think in a different way, right? Because you, you can put the, again, no borders, right? You can put this sort of, um, you, can, you can put this kind of um, boundary on what's possible, or you can go, okay, or, or what if there's plenty and what if we're fine? Um, and so we decided that there are, and we knew that there were plenty of people, there were plenty of people who wanted to be a part of this work. We were seeing that. Um, and so Skill Corps, that Tuesday night, we decided to call it Skill Corps. We um, hired someone in India because it was daytime in India to create a brochure. We didn't have a design person at the time. Um, we got that brochure created midnight, we overnighted brochures to the ABAI conference in Seattle. And I'd been standing there for years saying, are you familiar with the Global Autism Project? Do you know the Global Autism Project? <laughs> um, and this time I was handing out flyers saying, are you familiar with Skill Corps? And people were saying, oh, yes, absolutely. And I was, oh, are you? That's funny. Because <laughs> made it up. Um, but what Skill Corps is, is it's an opportunity for professionals, self-advocates, people connected either with a personal or professional connection to autism to come and travel with us and actually provide meaningful training to our partner sites. So um, it is also one of the most amazing, and I, I'm seeing it over and over again, people are reaching out. It is one of the most amazing personal and professional development opportunities out there in the entire world. Um, and I think we talk about that transformation that happened in Global Summit, Skill Course, two weeks of that. Um, and it completely changes who people know themselves to be, what they think is possible for themselves. Um, and it's a, what you do is you apply. Um, Everybody who travels raises $5,000. That gets a lot of people outside their comfort zone, of course. That also allows us to stay in communication with the partner sites so that we can provide ongoing support and training um, so that the work that they do when they're in country is not just that's it and who knows. You know, we talk about the flyaway test a lot. Um, and people travel with us for two weeks at a time. And it's really, it's just... Um, my gosh, like I can't imagine, again, weathering this COVID-19 storm without our Skill Core community. Um, mm -hmm. it, the Skill Core community is the lifeblood of this organization. We have over 600 alums now. Um, and it's just, it's um, just really, really, really incredible people. We actively recruit for diversity. We actively recruit for professional diversity. Um, we really believe that somebody who has a little bit of experience in the field has a whole lot of insight. Um, and there's a lot to be learned both ways. And we believe that speech therapists and OTs and PTs and BCBAs and ABA therapists can all learn from each other when given the right container. Um, and autistic self-advocates. It's a really important piece for us. We have autistic self-advocates on teams as well. And you have these people who work in the field with kids with autism mostly, and they've never met an adult with autism. 
And now not only are they meeting an adult with autism, they're not just going to some inspirational talk, they're actually collaborating, living day in and day out, learning more about what does that really look like day to day. Um, you know, we've, we've had um, adult um, employees, autistic employees for 10 years or something now, and I am always, always, always so grateful for um, their insight, for what you know, I think that you can see very clearly limitations in some of the teaching when you see um, an adult and what that looks like. And so that's a really important piece for us, too. You've been watching Autism Knows No Borders. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you. So let us know what you think in the comments section. Click here to watch this interview in its entirety. You can also find us on your favorite podcast app. Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.